Hello, I'm Dr. Paramita Srimani, consultant gynecologist from Kolkata. I'll be talking about preeclampsia today. What is preeclampsia? It is high blood pressure and protein in urine in pregnant mother. It mostly occurs in the first time mother, but it can uh, also occur in mother who already have uh, kidney disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, um, autoimmune disorders like lupus, mothers with obesity, with twin pregnancy, multifetal pregnancy, who have a family history of preeclampsia. Mostly the uh, BP starts rising after 20 weeks of pregnancy, but it can rise even uh, earlier. And the earlier the disease starts, the more uh, severe it gets as the pregnancy progresses, and it can lead to severe complications to both the mother and the baby. The baby can suffer from uh, low birth weight, preterm birth, even death in the uterus. And the mother can have eclamptic fits or convulsions during pregnancy. And even after childbirth, she can have uh, kidney damage, heart attack, stroke, and shortness of breath and fluid in the lungs. So we have to know what are the first signs of preeclampsia. Pre that is high blood pressure, that is more than uh, 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury, protein in urine, swelling of the body, and unusual weight gain. Now, these uh, early signs can be detected very easily if the mother comes to the uh, antenatal clinic for a routine checkup. And there are the routine tests, the blood test that will assess the kidney and the liver functions, the platelet count, that is the platelets are the blood cells that help in blood clotting that goes down in preeclampsia. Then we have the urine test, the 24 hours urine sample taken and uh, tested for presence of protein in it. That will actually show how well the mother's kidneys are functioning. The ultrasound to assess the growth of the baby, the amniotic fluid volume, and if there is any uh, bleeding under the placenta, which is called placental abruption, which is a very severe condition, fatal condition, that will require immediate delivery of the baby. And there is pentamarker test, which is routinely suggested in pregnant mothers for the first trimester screening to uh, detect the chromosomal abnormalities, but it can also uh, predict whether the mother can uh, have preeclampsia later in pregnancy or not. And what are the danger signs of pre severe preeclampsia? That is shortness of breath, headache, blurred vision, uh, dark spots uh, floating in front of the eyes, right upper abdomen pain. Now, whenever a mother is diagnosed with preeclampsia, her doctor will definitely tell her about these danger signs. And the mother should immediately report to her doctor whenever any of these symptoms appear. The mother is then uh, hospitalized for close monitoring and she should deliver her baby as early as possible. If the mother is very near to her due date and the baby is fully formed, then in that case we can deliver the baby. Normal delivery is possible in preeclampsia, but usually the cesarean delivery is suggested or selected. And if the mother is in her early stage of pregnancy, then in that case we have to give her medications to lower the blood pressure and medications to enhance the fetal lung maturation in case the baby needs to be delivered earlier. In preeclampsia, it is preferable that we should deliver sooner rather than later to avoid the severe complications both during and after the childbirth. Now, how to prevent this condition? There are a few uh, practices that can help to alleviate preeclampsia. That is, uh, Avoid uh, junk food, oily food, alcohol, caffeine. Take enough water, six to eight glasses in a day. Take enough rest, exercise regularly and take the medications that are prescribed by your doctor. So to summarize, preeclampsia pre is a severe pregnancy condition, but it can be managed effectively if it is detected early. So, lastly, I must say that most of the pregnant mothers with preeclampsia deliver healthy babies if they are diagnosed early and they are treated effectively and managed at the right time. Thank you.